Hey guys, this is Splooge here. I'm just here to show you guys a quick introductory tutorial on the wire mod add-on for Gary's mod. Um, it's just a quick trip wire. I built built it really quick. It's a good introductory thing that you're good for your first build. It's really handy, very accurate, and it is good for it's fun to build. Um, basically, all it is is this ranger that goes across. You want the range to be over what your your distance is so just a, it's a thousand's a good bet you can set it to ten thousand and it'd be a pretty big trip wire but whatever but you see that it's only picking up 143 because it's hitting the wall right here and this is where it ends this, it just goes from here to here which is good because we want it to when something breaks the trip wire it will do an action explode um, cause the indicator to go off play a sound it's just good for like a basic, very basic but very effective home security system or whatever in Gary's mind if you're role playing or what. So um, here's the finished product and then I'll go over and build it with you guys to show you it works and all that stuff. So the, the ranger is across here so when something breaks it, it should trip the, the indicator or the explosive. So there it is getting tripped, boom, explosion, whatever. It works with props and then if I spawn a zombie right here that bad boy can walk through and hopefully it should trip the wire boom okay so I'm gonna run over it and build it right here you can use any size doorway you can use um, PHX uh, panels you can use whatever you want as long as they're standard because if you move one it'll mess up your whole um, you need a wire mod ranger so that is right here in the wire detection and uh, we just need it to show the beam for tutorial purposes. You can hide it later and output the distance. So we got it at a thousand range. So we set it right here, and we notice that this range is 151 instead of 144, or whatever up top there. So what we're asking the game is we want to know if this range is less than 151, then something will happen. So you want to think of when you're wearing wire mod, you want to think of it as a if statement. So if if I were to walk across this wire, what would happen? If this ranger is less than 151, something should happen. So in that statement, we need less than. We see here less than. So we're going to go to gate, comparison, and find the less than chip. Just throw it right up on the wall there, and we get A is less than B equal to 0. Because it's right now, A is the same as B. They're both 0. 0 is less than 0 is false. So we need a constant value to prove that we need a constant value of 150. So we would need if the range is less than 150, true. Um, so run down the constant value in wire input and output, and we'll throw it on there at 150 and constant value. Throw that on the wall, and we're just going to go to wire and wire from the range or from the less than a to the distance output distance and B to the constant value so we have ranger is less than value right now it's false because our range is 151 151 is less than 150 that's a false statement so if we walk in front of it we'll see that this turns to a 1 because the range is 77 is less than 150 that's true statement so let's make it a little more fun and we'll throw a wire explosive on here um, now we see that the only option for wire explosive is detonate and we would want the detonate to be true which is what this less than is giving us false and true it's a boolean statement which is a true or false so detonate goes to that and that should make it when we walk in front of it true which it was um, as I mentioned earlier it's good for um, it works with props and NPCs, so just for fun, we'll spawn an NPC or two. Easy as that. It's good for um, other players. It's good for props. Um, anything that will disrupt this beam. Okay. Um, some of the flaws with this. Uh, set up here is you, the, obviously you can see the beam which you would change if you were doing a real security environment but it has a cool effect sort of if you see like the actual laser going across you can also jump over the beam and um, if you were to place it higher you can crawl under the beam um, 
one thing that you can do to make it look pretty cool um, is you can wire up multiple rangers to the same um, less than chip. So we can make it look much cooler and much more secure if we were to do this. Even this alone, with just the four rangers going across, makes it look much more scary, much more intimidating. And if, you, especially if you were to use invisible wires and you were to wire like a specific one up, whatever, like whatever works. Um, this one right here is actually the most accurate because it is not low enough to crawl under and it is too high for me to jump over with this being here. So, um, just I think I can prove my point with that. I, that's a bold statement for me. Um, so let's go with the A to this one. So I shouldn't be able to crawl under it and I should not be able to jump over it. Oh, I can. Just a little higher would have done it, but whatever. It's much harder to jump over. And uh, that's basically it, you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And just uh, throw me a comment. I'm not asking for like a bunch of su subscribers or likes or anything, but throw me a comment and give me some kind of tips or input because this is my first tutorial. And if it's worth anything, I can make some more for you guys. All right. Uh, that's all.